For case seven, we have an 18 year old with a headache. Here we have a sagittal reconstruction of a CT through the head. If the abnormality doesn't jump out to you, don't worry too much. We're going to have some additional images here. So here are some images from an MR. These are thin slice T2 images that have been reconstructed both sagittally and coronally. These are pre and post contrast images. So 7A, what is the most likely diagnosis? And 7B, what is the hormone most commonly secreted by these lesions? So that question is kind of tipping you off that this is probably a pituitary adenoma, but then from that you've got to figure out then which is the most common hormone secreted by pituitary adenomas. So this is a case of a pituitary adenoma. In this case, there is some hemorrhage into the adenoma. These are relatively benign neoplasms, uh, so they can be locally aggressive, but they don't uh, tend to metastasize or spread. They make up about 10 or 15% of all intracranial neoplasms, so they're quite common. About half or a little bit more than half are functional. Of the ones that are functional, uh, the most common is prolactin followed by growth hormone. Uh, many of them are non-secreting though, so about half of them are non-secreting. On imaging, they tend to be T1 ISO intense. They may show slow enhancements. So one of the features that you'll see is on early post-contrast images, they'll be hypo-intense to the surrounding gland, and that will gradually fill in. They often result in deviation of the pituitary infundibulum, and they can also have hemorrhage and cystic changes. Again, they're benign, but they do cause local morbidity, and they can lower the patient's lifespan. Uh, the primary treatments are surgery and uh, radiation therapy for those that can't be completely resected. Uh, your major differential in this case is uh, whether or not it's a pituitary adenoma with hemorrhage or Rathke's cleft cyst. Uh, these are some of the features of pituitary adenomas. So you can have fluid fluid levels and off midline location and septation. Uh, Rathke's cleft cysts uh, tend to have a midline location. There's also the classic kind of intracystic nodule, which is a small nodule along the margin, which is classic for Rathke's cleft cyst. If you haven't seen this chart before, it's from an AJNR paper from 2015, which is cited down here. You can take a look. Uh, this is a way of helping you decide if something is an RCC or an adenoma. Uh, you could follow this chart. If it's uh, in this case, for instance, like it's midline, uh, but there is a fluid fluid level, so that would make this most likely to be an adenoma. Uh, but this can help you decide. Uh, so this is kind of a useful decision tree. So you might, uh, you might take a look at that. And I'll put a link to that in the, in the description. Uh, here you can see the CT images from this. You'll see the cella is expanded. There's osseous uh, expansion of the cella, which means it's something that's been there for a while. Again, a benign lesion, but kind of locally aggressive. Here on the uh, T2 and then post-contrast images, you can see a little bit of a septation there. You can see some fluid levels or hemorrhage levels in there. And that kind of clues you in that it uh, might be an adenoma. Here's your pre and post contrast images together. You can see in this case, there's very little enhancement because the majority of the T1 hyperintensity is coming from blood centrally. There's probably a little bit of enhancement along the top rim there that might represent a little bit of adenoma left or a little bit of the normal pituitary. Uh, your question 7B was what hormone is most commonly secreted? We already talked about this a little bit when we were talking about the diagnosis, but uh, the most common is prolactin. Uh, I think if uh, the most common is probably non-functional uh, because it's about uh, about 50%, uh, but uh, in this case, non-functional wasn't asked and uh, or wasn't included in the answer choices and they were asking specifically about, about hormones.